Hey guys, I'm back with a quick tutorial on how to utilize clipping masks uh, in your digital artwork. This pro I'm going to cover Adobe Photoshop and I'm going to cover Paint Tool Sci. The Photoshop version I'm using is uh, CC instead of like CS6 or whatever, but it's all the same. Don't worry about it um, in this aspect anyway. Alright, so what I have here is a quick little doodle of a lion guy, I guess. And um, I have colored him in down here. Uh, so where this gray is, that's where I have colored things. And I'm going to release these real quick. All right. So I have this color. And as you can very clearly see, it is nowhere near being within the lines. Uh, it's very messy. And... If you're doing a lot of layers or a lot of colors, it can be kind of a huge pain in the butt to try and go through and keep every little detail within the lines. So what you do is you go over here to your layer, have it selected, right click, go over to create clipping mask. And what that'll do is that will secure that to the layer that you have it clipped to. Now you can only go like one deep, like you can't clip a layer to a layer that is clipped. You can only, you can only do that once. Um, so I've got my shading here, clipping mask, and there you go. It's really messy, but for tutorial's sake, this is now finished. Uh, the process is very similar in Paint Tool Sci. I'm gonna do a scribble here, wrong tool. I have my nice little scribble here, and I want to add a nice yellow center or whatever. So I want that to be within my original darker blob. I'm gonna go over here, create clipping mask. The button is right here. Um, it functions exactly the same. If you want to keep adding clipping masks, like if you have a lot of markings to separate or whatever, that's perfectly fine. Um, you can make a new layer, create clipping mask, layer, create clipping mask, or how I do it, if I have a lot. Like if I know I'm gonna need like a bunch of layers, I'll just make them all at once because all of my files are absolute chaos. Um, click on the original and then with one clipping mask already selected, just make more and it'll just automatically assume that you want clipping masks. Um, that works exactly the same in Adobe Photoshop. If you want to get rid of any, have it selected and then hit the trash can and you're good to go. All right, uh, thank you for watching and if there's anything else you would like me to cover, just drop a comment and I'll do my best to get to it. Goodbye.